At the Global Cybersecurity Capacity Building Center, it's a multidimensional effort. Uh, as you can imagine, cyber, cybersecurity is too complicated for any one particular dimension to sort of cover it. So we have a really overlapping and multilateral and team effort involved. Of the five dimensions, ours really focuses on national cybersecurity policy and in particular defense. And uh, our specific focus then is things like detecting intrusions, um, deterring people who would want to intrude, working really closely to try and defend against them where possible with technical defenses, and then in the unlikely or unhappy event that these defenses fail, and the, the first dimensions, first parts of that fail, having a plan for recovery, having a plan to mitigate harm, that's ours. But as I say, it's a team effort, which means that some of our other team members are working on things like education programs, they're working on things like uh, password security, uh, they're working on the technological aspects and mathematical aspects of securing cyberspace. The broadest goal, the most important goal, is to secure cyberspace while still allowing its collaborative, its productive, and its real positive potential to shine through. Cybersecurity capacity is important because we just don't have enough of it now. We're only starting to get an idea of the incredible risks and vulnerabilities that we face, both at the national level and globally and beyond. And the more we think about it, the more worried we become and the more vulnerable we actually feel. So it's an incredibly important thing to work on uh, uh, and to achieve. The difficulties really come in three or four flavors and we're, we're working on each of those too at the Capacity Building Center. Um, those would be things like public-private partnerships. Those are challenges we face. Also, global cooperation is always difficult across security issues, but in cybersecurity it's, it's very difficult partly because we even define threats differently across the globe. So those are some of the challenges we face and everybody's vulnerable. Uh, our banking systems, our power and water supply systems, our communication systems, including visual and audio communications and also transport and rail, are all run by computers. So we really need to think seriously and think comprehensively and in a sort of team effort about security. International collaboration on cybersecurity is critical for a couple of reasons. One, because almost by definition, cyber is a network. It, it's not tethered or limited to geographical space. That means every human on the planet is essentially increasingly linked by cyber and by cyberspace. But there are real challenges with international cooperation on cybersecurity. And one of the main ones is that different cultures, as you might expect, define even things like threats differently. Um, Russia and China have their own definition of a threatening use of the internet that tends to be at odds with that of the United Kingdom, Japan, the United States, and other places. So these things have to be dealt with, and they have to be dealt with in a respectful way because we need that cooperation in order to have a chance to succeed. Stronger cyber defense may push attackers into less protected or less developed nations. And there, there are sort of two issues surrounding that. The first is almost by definition, a less developed nation probably has a little bit less to steal. So the incentives to hurt them are probably not as great as they would be, say, an advanced industrial country like Britain or Germany. That said, however, uh, cybersecurity, when you think of it in a global context, is, is almost like a, like a personal relationship in the sense that it, you, we grow into each other. Um, uh, every new change that we make becomes a change in the other. Uh, and in some of those ways, it's sort of obvious how we're linked, but in other ways, just like a relationship, it's not obvious, they're subtle, they're things that don't really occur to you until a crisis happens, and then you realize, wow, I had no idea we were so you know, connected in this particular way. So those are the sort of two reasons why you'd really want to think about um, making the effort global, rather than just sort of on a national by national basis. Balancing the need for cybersecurity with individual privacy and freedoms has always been a challenge for policymakers, uh, and I venture to say it always will be. It's a kind of dilemma. Um, most of the, the countries we're talking about really want to preserve transparency, due process, and justice and a sense of fairness in their systems, but they also have a vital interest in national security, and those two things tend to sometimes oppose each other, or they appear to. So the intensity of that dilemma in cyberspace is particularly high because never has so much harm been able to be done by so few to so many. And our job, our 
core mission at the Cybersecurity Capacity Building Center is to attempt to weaken that dilemma or lessen that dilemma by preparing and anticipating for that harm in advance and thinking of creative ways to lessen it so that then policymakers won't face as intense a dilemma.